So what's going on, Terry? Hi, Vinny. How are you doing? Good. Been Good Facebook friends with you for so many years, yeah. and I've been telling you, dude, got Ghost in the Flesh on the show. You like that band? Who? Ghost in the Flesh? Yeah, I dig them. I know. And then I was telling Terry, well, what about Alien Ant Farm? Be on the Vinny Langdon show. Here you go. The timing is right. What's up, guys? Perfect timing. Welcome to my show. Thank you. Alien Ant Farm. Vinny, how you doing, Vinny? Yo, how you doing? Yo, you got... Yo, yo, hey, Vinny. Where we at, Jersey? Yo, is this Jersey? Oh, it's California. Yo, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Sure. A shore? Yeah, it's not water. It's water. Oh, man. Uh, what is my, my roommate from New England? says Warder. Warder. Like that. Warder. That's crazy. Anyways. So, guys, welcome to the Vinnie Langdon Show. We had a great time tonight at the Avalon here in Santa Clara. Alien Ant Farm, you guys started way back in 1995. Dryden, the vocalist here, want to tell us his history? You want, you want me to... This is going to be a long story. Well, well, it's, well we got a half hour on the Vinnie Langdon Show. Should I give it, like... Like, should I do the Cliff Notes version, or? Yeah. Okay. Um, in 1995, four young men set out to change <laughs> history in their little dinky town of Riverside, California. And then we did. And we were just friends growing up, man. We were all in other bands that were doing. Terry and Mike, our drummer, were in a band called Brother Vibe, and in our small area, they were like kind of the, the big fish in the pond, you know? And so for me to kind of start jamming with those guys was a treat for me, and, and Ty, was, Ty was kind of like this prodigy bass dude, you know? Who's this guy playing like Prime is Perfect when we're, you know, when he's like 17? Like, yeah. so it was Stop just fun. guitar in a band, yeah. like the <laughs> ironic, ironic thing. So, so it was just, I guess an idea of like who let's get like the the better people in each of these bands and form this little all-star group yeah I guess. Local super group. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. but I mean for for a small city like that it wasn't like hey who's the best singer oh it's clearly me like it wasn't we just were, we got along so yeah. it just worked out and then you know we started come up to Northern California and almost getting more love here than we did in our own home you know and meeting Papa Roach from up here and trading shows. They would come down south and open for us, and we'd come up here and open for them and kind of try and steal each other's fans, right? Right. Sleep on each other's floors. It was fun. Those were the days. Good we used to come up here, like, uh, every weekend. I remember one time for, like, two months we came up here every weekend for shows, yeah. playing, like, the Three Oaks in Vacaville or... Yeah. Either that or the cactus here in San Ho or whatever, you know, all kinds of crazy places back in the day. I remember when Carson Daly used to work at the cactus. Really? Yeah. He did? Yeah, back in the day. What a dick. Yeah. <laughs> so Alien Ant Farm, Terry, didn't you come up with that? Yeah, yeah, I did. I had uh, a crappy little desk job. Right? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. I used to sell, uh, I used to sell uh, vitamins, like uh, sports nutrition, like wholesale. Um, just relax, sit back. Just relax. Right. Go with Remember, it. this is a half-hour show. So go we with time. it, man. We're going to lay you out later and <laughs> get out the hot rocks. Anyways, um, yeah, I used to sell vitamins, uh, like sports nutrition, to like bodybuilders and stuff. Uh, Speaking was, of bodybuilders. And, uh, <laughs> and there was a lot of dumb downtime sitting at my desk and daydreaming, whatever, yeah. with my feet up right. until my boss came in and I'd be like, papers, um, papers, pen. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, I just can't kind of came up with it on a theory, a loose theory that like, you know, it was more fun than anything. It wasn't like a solid investment. It was just like, you know, what if the planet got seeded, you know, like uh, an experiment by someone who's not from this planet, you know. I don't know. It's just really kooky, but fun uh, to think about, you know, you know, it's like like aliens like watch from afar. Like, like if a kid, like if a kid has an ant farm, what if aliens you know, what if our little world is like an ant farm for aliens? Yeah. It's, it's kind of lame, but it, the, but it's Thanks, super. It's, no, not like that. The name I love, but when you get into the theory and start, you know what I mean. When you start explaining, it, you're kind of like, yeah. oh. can you grade the theory? C minus. C. The name A plus. <laughs> so Papa Roach, you know, DreamWorks Records. What a crazy record label that didn't last long, but yeah. you know. You, you know what? DreamWorks was an amazing record label, though. I mean, they had more money than God. They'd all, you know, Spielberg, Geffen, Katzenberg, right? Like that was like the three SKG, you know. And so I think 
um, DreamWorks was kind of like a project for those dudes that they didn't even need to do it. I think it was just a, something fun for a bunch of rich dudes to do. Yeah. Like and, we, that, and in fact, the movie side is still around. They were just like, let's try music because of Geffen, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. So a lot of bands, especially these days, they go and they try to make cover songs, and sometimes they suck. But you guys tried to do a cover song, Smooth Criminal, of Michael Jackson, and it actually became successful, right? Yeah, yeah. It was, I mean, it was really unintentional. It was it, like uh, when we used to play, um, you know, before anything happened, you know, we used to just play at home, play shows around home. And we used to ha try and uh, cover a different song every time we played. We'd, like, pick a, a different song from different artists that we liked and usually obscure like Ilea songs or uh, Ilea songs or like uh, what do we do like we do like do Sade stuff yeah. or some we it was always we we knew we wanted to do a cover on the record but we wanted it to be like why is this rock band doing this song you know and why does it sound good in a rock version mm -hmm. and it was like you know we, we kind of flirted with the idea of doing like Easy Lover by Phil Collins and Philip Bailey and then we just thought when we did Smooth Criminal, it kind of lent itself to rock way. Like, it, it was the best one that sounded rock and roll out of the covers that we did. And yeah. so we just decided to, you know, record it and put it on the record. And it kind of, I think deep back in the in our mind, we knew that it would do something good. We didn't know if we wanted it to do well, like as a, you yeah, know. Like, it, who cares? No, Let's just put no, it out. I think, you know, it was like a catch-22, you know. I think we kind of wanted to come up slowly and, and build this thing how we, you know, maybe we thought certain bands like Soundgarden or, or some of our heroes, you know, it seemed like they just get bigger and bigger after each album. And so when we had a hit that was so, like, kind of kind of big and this larger-than-life thing, we were like, wow, well, we don't want to be this band that just has this song and then kind of fades into the sunset, you know? So it was kind of a bitter, bitter-sweet feeling, yeah. you know? Yeah. In 2009, the Vans Warped Tour, Kevin Lyman asked you guys to come out and do the cover of that song. Oh, yeah, after Michael passed. Yeah, it was it was uh, bittersweet, you know? Um, and Michael heard the song, Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. We worked with him, actually, uh, closely, like when we shot the video, because... Um, we didn't want to seem like we were making fun, you know. We we really are like huge fans. Like, like to me, he's like the 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 most amazing like musician, artist, entertainer that's ever walked the planet, you know. So we really love him, well, yeah. and he's a real influence. But him or John Candy, who would you pick? Wait, John Candy. In, wait up, in a sumo wrestling match, like John, like Wagons West, John Candy, or like Uncle Buck, John Candy. Uncle Buck. With alien ants all over them. Oh, uh, Uncle Buck. John Candy. <laughs> Good stuff. So you guys enjoyed making their mu the music videos for Alien Ant Farm, right? I mean, in the past, from movies. Yeah, you know. Crashing the Bet Awards. Oh, well, you know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was a fun one. But, uh, I was more scared than ever in my life. You, you guys were having fun until the authorities came up, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. I think we got kind of coined as this like funny band even though the music wasn't really funny you know and so it was but all of our videos were kind of you know a little more silly hearted even if the song wasn't so yeah it, it was seems like we had just always like been guys that try to make each other laugh and like making those videos was like kind of a big make each other laugh party yeah. you know what I mean I don't know like. if it was for better or for worse but we really got some kicks out of it yeah. <laughs> and some laughs and you guys are still doing it, and a lot of bands are, you know, two months later, they realize it's a lot of hard work, and you guys are still putting your hearts into it, like every show is the best, right? Yeah, man, we we love to do this. Um, you know, we had times where we kind of, like, went away from each other for a while, like split up, came back together now. We always did music well together, and, um, and it, I think that is probably, like, the root fundamental of our relationship. Crazy. Uh, moving right along. Yes, yes, yes. So with that being said. You know what? If you guys can edit that out or leave it, because I think it's probably like interesting TV, but you guys do what you want with it. Yeah. You know, with the criteria of your show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you send us the outtakes. It, yeah. <laughs> guys, go to www.youtube.com slash Vinny Langdon Show, and you can see behind the scenes of this crazy interview, <laughs> Gone Wild. Vinny Langdon Show Gone Wild right there here yeah. at the Avalon. Gone. It's cool. Vinny Langdon <laughs> Gone Wild. <laughs> the Alien Ant Farm Gone Wild. Wild tour. 
I mean, there's a lot of bands that are actually doing that these days. Like Gone Wild tour. I mean, well, you know what? Like you, you talking about like Pantera made like a deep. They've made a few DVDs that are just like crazy. You know, just and uh, I'm almost envious of what they do. Be, that's that has nothing to do with music, you know, because their DVDs DVDs are so entertaining. We we actually made a DVD that that rivals that kind of insanity, you know, and it's it's fun for us. Hey, I'm Terry, and and that's Dryden, and we're an Alien Ant Farm, and you've been watching the Vinnie Langdon show with us on it, and uh, check us out.